He's got a new digital camera he's working with right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't work this shit to you save know, my life, a, man. I'm gadgets, trying, man. A lot of new gadgets and toys to be played with. But, uh, <laughs> so, and I'm looking at, you. is that you know, I, This is an odd rock. Okay, you got reason on there? Uh, this somewhat like this I was is like, just what's going on. This is just a track from Reasons. Oh, okay. So, I uh, I actually make tracks off of Reasons. So you're still you're producing too? A little some, yeah. Okay. Uh, I actually helped produce the first single of uh, Black Caesar. I helped produce most of my album. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess being in Larry Gold's all the time, you're constantly working and, and producing music with them, right? Well, sometimes I didn't do most of the album. I didn't do none of the album there. I did it at another studio. You know what I'm okay, well, let's talk about the, the album that's coming out. Who are some of the pro- producers that you work with? Uh, I work with my man, Obvious Bay. I work with a producer from out of Texas um, named Al New. He uh, produced a song we're going to play in the field here called I'm Fly. Okay. Um, it's got a white shadow. Mm, I guess that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that they produced most of the album. Exactly. And then with some, you've actually produced some of the records on there, or, yeah, yeah. or just co-produced? No, I sat there and came up with the whole formula okay. and got with producers gotcha. to help me. But you do, you said you do dabble something. with Reason. Oh yeah. Which is a production uh, program. How do you like using Reason? Oh, I love Reasons. That's the one I, 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 I know how to use. Them. I, thought you, I thought you might be on the NPC, but you're on software, no hardware. I don't know how to Since use. Since you are from old school, I mean, you know. Well, the thing is, back then I wasn't touching those buttons. My man Kilo was programming all that stuff. Right. I would just sit there and watch and just go through records. I wouldn't uh, touch the equipment. Right. I didn't start touching equipment until. I started, you know, getting deeper into like, you know, where I wanted to go with the music, you know. And, and what made you, yeah, what made you just like say, you know, I'm kind of interested in doing my own production. Well, I know I'm very talented, so it's like I um, wanted all these sounds to come out of my head. Right. You know what I mean? It's time I'm coming up with concepts like, I want to do this, I want to do that, and you know, I'm one of them type of people. I'm not gonna wait for no one to do it. Right. I'm gonna go. Do it myself, you know what I'm saying? The best way I know how. So that's how that came about. And, you know, I've been blessed that, uh, you know, to get a nice response from what I do. You know what I mean? People like what they've been hearing. Now, the upcoming so, album, what's the title of the upcoming album? It's called The Powers in the Tongue. Okay. And since we're talking about production, are you using more original production, samples? What, I mean, not original production, sample free production like beats, or is there a lot of samples in there? Yeah, it's a lot. I um actually one of the singles that I'm dropping called Uncontrollable. I produced that. There's no uh, samples in that. Um, but most of the album is definitely all you know. Like the album is a, I would say more of a like uh, it's, it's kind of like a throwback hip hop type shit. But it's not outdated. You know what I'm saying? It, right. It's infinite. You know what I'm saying? I make music that's infinite. I don't just make stuff that's for the time. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's hot. You know what I'm saying? And see, the good thing is is that, you know, lately, a lot of different people, especially like, you know, like people like Kanye and Jay, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're using, they're, they're going back to the original formula. You know what I'm saying? When you hear Otis, that's just a loop. Maybe an 808. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. Because that, 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 that right there, you know, identifies hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, if the lyrics is dope, nobody really cares. I mean, as long as you got that beat, that, you know what I'm saying, that head nod, and that's what hip hop is. It's that one, two, three, you know what I'm saying, that constant, you know, keeping it moving type thing. That so, Otis beat was so refreshing oh, stupid. and crazy. And I feel funny. like it's helping me out because Black Caesar is like a sample track too. So right. You know what I mean? But what's crazy about that beat, when that came out, every rapper wanted to do a freestyle on that beat. But before that, were they jumping on beats like that? No, nah, no. Everybody wanted to be super signed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. which is cool. But I, like I said, I, 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 I do all types of music. I don't just do uh, hip hop. When you hear the album, you know what I'm saying. You would, you know, get a feel and understand. You know what I'm saying where I'm coming from. Like I don't just do. It's not just me rapping. Right. You know what I'm saying. This stuff is about my life. You know what I mean. Situations I've been through. Real shit, like I don't make no songs that's not, you know, relevant to how I live, really. You know, it's rare that I do some shit outside that box. 
and this is going to be released through your record label independently. Yeah, Tally Up Boys Records, TUB Records, LLC. Now let's talk about how hard is it to start your own record label and, and really, you know, get that off the ground. Um, to me, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty hard, I guess. Uh, for me, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm just a natural hustler, so it's like for me, it's just going out and getting it. Um, I took up commercial law, you know what I mean? I, I, I went in as far as understanding what I need to, you know, make my thing foolproof. You know what I'm saying? Enough where it can be presented to the public, and you know what I'm saying? So like, for, for, for me, it's just. I feel like ain't nothing gonna come easy anyway. Like, I don't know nothing that comes easy, you know what I'm saying? So you just go out there and get it. And that's just how and I am. Almost so, today though, it's it's you can be even more successful doing it independently. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm I'm loving the independent vibe because it kinda brings me back to the eighties when, you know, you had labels like Pop Art Records, yeah. um, you know, all the champagne records, even Sugar Hill. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like to me, it's just perfect for like the way you can get directly in touch with the fans. You create a lane and you do your thing. You know Speaking what I'm of pop art, uh, Jack Frost hit me up the other day. He yeah. said, "Yo, there goes Taj from the Youngsters." <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting around at the car wash. He he was out there getting his car wash. But yeah, man, classic material. Anyway, so we got this single. What do we got here? This is a new single that we're going to uh, play. Oh yeah, we're going to play the single. The new single is called Black Caesar. Okay. Um, it's just me on it. We got the video popping off. That's now, is the video going to drop the same day you're dropping the single? Nah, the video is going to drop around that time though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you'll see it on MTV Jams if they don't front on us, but uh, it's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be everywhere. Allhiphop.com. You'll be able to see it. And, uh, it's flavor, man. Like you know, everybody so far, you know, they they they, they like it. All right, well, let's but get that. Let's so. get the song to, to intern Leak, DJ Leak over there. And can I ask you if you could tell me what the sample was you used for that? <laughs> is it off the soundtrack of the movie or what? No, nah, you know what? The beginning of it is. Okay. Um, I got Fred Williamson talking in the beginning. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's my AKA. It's Mars Co-op, AKA Black Season. Right. AKA Mr. Fresh Boy, AKA Mr. Die Hard. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that, you know, that's the only part of the movie I use for that song. But, um, everything else in there, you gotta figure it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, they gotta have deep crates. If you were, yeah, I'm about to say, if you were crate thing, yeah. you're gonna be like, I know that. But, <laughs> you know, some, I'm not gonna say any names, but, a certain squad has already used uh -oh. the beginning of my record. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think they got it from me. I think they got it from their, you know. But it's all good. Like, it's, it's not done. It's not produced the same way we did it. And that's it. the thing. You, you know, a lot of times, guy, you can use a, a sample that somebody else has used as long as you flip it differently. Exactly. A lot of guys just, boom, reuse the same thing over and over again. But if you flip That's it, hip -hop. Yep, absolutely. Be creative, man. So this is a brand new Mars Co-op Black Caesar. It's not coming out till November 24th. Expect the video on the way. It's going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, that was shot in Philly. So we're going to get into this. This is an official streetradio.com exclusive, ueradiolive.com exclusive, Benja Styles, DJ No Frills, Mars Co-op, Black Caesar. Let's go. Yeah. 